Duelist. Johnny Kiss here coming at you with another episode of Tooling with T Gil Game. I know I haven't been doing with T Gil Game the past two weeks. We had the holiday season, Christmas, and New Year's. We have a little bit under the weather, still kind of under the weather, but I have a deck I want to show you guys today. And we're going to play this deck online and see how this deck plays. And that is not the build I want to show you guys, that is a different build I'm currently working on at the moment. So we'll go with a few, I think it's yeah, the Fusion Link deck right here. And it's kind of a mishmash of like different monsters and spells and traps, but to get into this deck profile, we have the one Garnet for our Brain Engine, one Gofu, Triple Star Seraph Scepter, one Purple Mage Trick Clown, Triple Owl Star the Invoker, because you are playing an Invoked Engine in this build, one Elemental Shadow Mist, Triple Star Seraph Sovereign, two Predator Plan over Scorpios, one Darlington Cobra, Triple Loom Fire Blossom. Triple a Hero Limbs because we want to be able to get to our Element Hero Shadow Mist for our fusion plays. Two Bar Desires because who doesn't want to, dig not, who doesn't want to discard ten, Vanish 10 and draw 2. Triple Double Summon because we want to double summon, we want to summon as many monsters, we want to normal summon as many monsters as possible. Two Terraformings to grab the Magical Meltdown. Two Invocations because we fusion summon in this deck and it invokes is the best fusion engine in the game right now. Triple scapegoat because we want to play a lot of link monsters and we want to link summon as much as possible. Triple mass change two because we can make the ma magical fusions. Double brilliant fusion and triple magical meltdown to put the deck at 42. That's it for the main deck. Going into our extra deck, we have for our fusions we have invoked Elysium. We can make this play. It is lit and it does work. Double Bokava, one Magalanica, one Mastero Anki, because we do have dark targets to summon it. One Goga, because we do have the light engines as well, light monsters and heroes to summon Goga. One Invoke Purgatrio, because we have a fire in Low Fire Blossom. One Dark Log, because we do have the dark targets, like I said, same with Anki, so we use Frankie. And then for our Link summons, we have one Borolo Dragon. One Skull Deed to change Regal Serpent, one Deco Talker for our Link 3, and then for our Link 2 targets we have one Degree Sue, or I know, one Ib, one Ib the World Chalice Priestess, two Alice and the Meltdown Invoker, which increases our Link plays, or makes, well not our Link plays, but gives us more uh, fusion plays. Alice to give us up to, you can get up to three fusions on the board, turn one with this, and then one Proxy Dragon. That being said, we have this, that being said, let's go ahead and go online and have some fun. Because I haven't done this in two weeks and I really want to be able to go online and play some Yu-Gi-Oh! So we'll go ahead and I'm going to host the duel. And as always, let them know we're recording for YouTube. Recording for YouTube. So if you guys decide you want to make YouTube videos showing you're showing off you guys playing Yu-Gi-Oh! online, let the players know that you are playing uh, your recording for YouTube, so that way it gives you less chance of them scooping early. If you already have the game, they're not going to scoop. They'll just sit, they'll play until you take their life point zero, and it keeps them from like, doing anything, like doing anything, like saying anything nasty or whatever. El culo de su madre, de su madre. I like this guy. I go first. Ooh, an opening hand. We do have Alistair, I know that. That is for certain. We have an Alistair play. We do have... Yeah, we have an Alistair play. We can at least... At the most, we can at least... Make Makaba. Pass turn. Oh, we're getting at least a fusion. Yes, we're on the same side. Does he have the Ash Blossom? No, he does not. That being said, we are going to activate <coughs> the Makaba, sending Trick Clown to the grave. And Makaba to the main monster zone. Uh, we could use Trick Clown and make a Meltdown Invoker 
And then they come after you right after that. If you wanted to, but I don't think I want to do that. And then there's nothing as a point to do so. So we're just going to go ahead and uh, cover invocation. Do the whole invocation loop with Alistair. We're going to set one. And we're going to pass. Lord of Darkness, um, I would say, yeah, activate Lord of Darkness and send the invocation to Grave. No. You ain't drawing to here, buddy. Ooh, a hero lives. I can't play it, though. And we're going to search our team just because we can. Cool the battle phase. He'll take the 25. Swiss Scarecrow, okay. Yeah, I think we'll stop that. Sovereignty the Grave, and I can get to do the X. Ooh, Battle Vader. So he's gonna stall me. Okay. That's fine. I was making it hard to, to take him down. Be the ground. Oh, lava ball. Haven't seen that in a while. Haven't seen a lava ball in a long time. Who plays that? Oh, I have to activate the effect. Did you just give me a burger trio? Okay. Invocation, I get free burger trio. Thank you. Uh, we'll fusion summon. I'll play that bad boy. So we get a free burger trio. No, 25 beat stick. Activate Invocation, Recover Alistair, be the loop, and go to Battle Phase. You can't have the Battle, you can't use the Battle Fader now. Let's use the Scarecrow. Let's use the Scarecrow. And I go to End Phase. Unless he can destroy the perfect trio, anything he summons or act puts on the board could increase the attack of my perfect trio by 500, I believe. No, 3, 200. So, I have a 25 base stick. He has a 1200 to my 25. Unless he's going to banish his entire hand. Like somehow get his entire deck into the into the banner zone. I don't think he's gonna be doing anything. And I win. So that was fun. Let's have some more fun with this deck. See if I get a better opening hand this time. Cause that opening hand I got was decent, but it could have been better. Let's see if we can pull some better hands. E.T. Photo. Let's vote you home, son. Ooh, that Star Trek combo. And I get to go first. Thank you, sir. May I search my invocation? Then I'll search that. I will search Alistair. For the fun part. I get to draw three or draw two cards. And link three. Got scapegoats. 
Why not? Activate. Pot of Desires. Okay. I can deal with that. Special into Deco Talker. Now we in location. Double book combo. Activate again. <coughs> nope. We can let double bring in the number combo. Graveyard. Sovereignty. Two book combos on board. Invocation for Brave. Let's recover that Alistair. Part of Desires. Part of Day 10. Ooh, Wonderful Scorpio. And I have Invocation. Oh, am I set or am I set? I think I'm going to end my turn. Here we have an Invocation if necessary to pitch for the stop. Let's just stop the spell card. Because the combo is not a hard one per turn. Where do you go? It's a pretty good board. And we stop the power of on and we win the game. Nice. I'm gonna save this. I'm gonna save this replay. Save this replay as invoked one. So that was two games in one. We made the opponent scoop. We go for rematch. Okay. I don't like this opening hand. Not really liking this opening hand, but probably fusion summon. So we're going to we can Does he have the Ash Blossom? No. Switching so invocation. Now he must change too. I can discard the score. Oh, yes. Targeting that. So back C. Sure, I'll let you draw one card. You get the facility one card on the board. And there's the full spell guns. I will set one back row. And I'm a passing turn. You can have the gear town. Need your gear uh, fusion? Mm, nope. No, we'll be getting that card too. How it, sir? Okay. Nope, still not gonna go for that. And it's still win. Because even though he begged, I'll we'll say that one too. So he's. Wow. That was crazy. I'm actually enjoying this deck. That was some real fun here. This has been a real blast to have me back here. Great to be back. Incredible dueler. Alright. Pick scissors. Ooh. Now he will pick scissors. Ah, he picks. He picks rock. Oh, boy. 
<gasps> I open with the combo! I have the combo! Double summon! Oh! I can make th two normal summons. Three normal summons. If I draw into a normal monster, also a monster, I can make three normal summons. <laughs> oh, Murbell. Okay, this could be a problem. Murbell already chose to go first. Okay. I don't get why, but his decision. As long as I don't talk about the Garnet or the Trick Clown, we should be okay. Uh, he's going to make a little bit of this and this one though. Pour the blood over Scorpio! Okay. Noble Summon Scorpio. Uh, yes. I don't think I want to do that, but why not? Anti-spell fragrance. Yeah, I should have did that. Like he already knew what I was going for. Should have went for the Seraphonite engine. Uh, I think I misplayed. <coughs> I think I might have just misplayed. Set that there. Set that there. Set that there. And I think we're going to link. Can we link summon? What link twos can we play? Not worth playing. Actually, nothing really. So I got to do an anti spell fragments for our turn. Okay. Vision Water Monster. And he grabs the. What he grabs exactly what he needs. And special summons. Yep. It's his uh, Abyss Bike to the board. Searching. Uh, I'm searching something. <coughs> I may have misplayed. I should have brain infusioned. And then the, the uh, Alice, the, well, I should have, well, either way, you're going to answer that spell He has answer that spell records. His deck doesn't generate a lot of spell cards anyway, so that card's worth playing in his deck. Unlike mine, which is. I have a lot of spells, so I don't want to play the anti spell fragments. Ooh! Should I, I could have got that Alistair. So I'm going to eat all of this. I'm going to eat all of this. At least now I can link summon. Can I top like a sovereignty? Can I unbrick my brick? Ooh, Bahamut Shark. Detach for Toad. <coughs> yep. I knew that was coming. Ooh, low fire blossom. <sighs> Will he take the bait? Yes, he takes the bait. I didn't need that. Oh, that's fine. He took the bait. He can have the double seven. I don't care. And he gets the resolve Toad's effect. Hmm. 
It's faced out. I should be able to activate this. <sighs> okay, why can I not activate my brilliant vision? Uh, I think I'm going to surrender this game. He's got it. He definitely has it. <coughs> so the reason I could not activate the uh, Brilliant Fusion. And the targets are in the deck. The targets are still sitting in the deck. So it made no sense. It like, literally made no sense at all. Oh, that's a pretty damn nice hand right there. I like that hand. What? Zombies, okay. Should we do zombies or are we playing Night Swarm Zombies? I feel like everyone likes zombies for some reason. This is one of those decks where if you're not going to play meta, you're playing zombies. Cause it's real. Gotta make that Omega. Gotta make that Omega. Of course we gotta make that Omega. Of course, we're gonna bounce to you the zombie. Ooh, that goes in key effect. Another unit zombie. What the hell? Okay, that's two tutors. We make double omega. We're gonna loop my entire hand. There's a possibility. And I win. Apparently, he misplayed. Oh well. Well, let's go ahead and uh, I'll play like one or two more games and then we'll call it a night because I do have to get some sleep. I got work in the morning and I should be in bed right now, but I wanted to do this and get the video, get this video done because I did promise everyone to leave with the Eagle game back on Monday and I'm going to make my promise. So, uh, pick scissors. I like pick, pick. Not a bad hand. I mean, I get the low fire to low fire into a like, low fire into low fire. A low fire for a low fire. That low fire will get me Scorpio. Uh, yeah, Scorpio. The Scorpio will pitch the, uh... I'm gonna make a fire fusion, I know that. Oh! I'm playing Counter Fairies. See that Artemis in your... Yeah, I see that Artemis. I see your Artemis there. Oh, I see the Artemis and then raise you a Glowfire Blossom. You have the counter. You have it. He has the counter. He has the counter. Do you know what? Oh, he's playing the Herald Engine. Why do I have to set this? Why am I not able to activate Brain Fusion? We have the Garnet and the Trick Clown in the main deck. There's no way we cannot activate the Brain Fusion. What is stopping us from playing? Okay. Oh, I Doesn't make sense. I have brain fusion, I don't have any of the, t I don't have any of the required targets in my hand, so I should be able to activate brain fusion. <coughs> I don't get it. It's like brain fusion, can't activate it. So, why can't I activate brain fusion? Oh well. I go first. 
No, we're getting somewhere. Special little one of Gofu that we happen to open up with. Yeah, here's all three. Draw one. We'll make you a deco. Oh, no, I can make proxy dragon. Why oh, my deco talk requires three effect monsters? No, we can still make the. Okay, we make a proxy. I'll let you draw another. I'll let you. I'll take your challenge. I'll raise you a double summon. I set it to the board. Double summon. Three hundred, bitch. Let's put it. I don't know if that's the best thing to do. Temple of the Elemental Lords. Oh, we're playing Elemental Lords. That comes out in Flames of Eternity. The Flames of Destruction. The the set we get after Extreme Forces. Wizard Willard Elemental Saber Willard. Okay, sounds European. He has a three way base deck. Holy crap, that's 3000 attack! Just base attack 24. He ain't 200. No bone different monsters in your Oh, okay. That's why they're so strong. It's still a 28 because you have a monster on the board. That's crazy. For every single attribute in your graveyard, this, these, wow. This is going to be meta. I can already see this being a meta deck. Attack. You know where to lose this duel. We'll still attack that card. Saber, yes, I still want to continue my attack. Thirty two hundred. God. This deck is insane! <coughs> this is like gonna be the next meta deck. I guarantee you, these are all what? Warriors? E Dragons. Only in the form of Warriors. Okay, so you're gonna give us another Elemental Dragon or. Uh, what was the deck called? It was the ESE Dragons. Elemental Dragons. Dragon Ruler is a spellbook. E Dragon is Dragon Ruler. So it's basically Dragon Ruler in the form of Warriors. Okay. And then I should have Light and Dark. Along with. Okay. So we can set this. He's still not attacking me. Why is he chosen to attack yet? Or can they not attack? Okay. That was in the grave. You know what? So we can see what the dark one does. We can see what the light one does and what the fire one does. That's a dark one. And there's one light ones, there's two lights. And there's here's one. <coughs> so we got fire, two lights, and earth. 
fire on earth too late in the dark so far. But I'm not able to show you guys. I haven't looked this part time up yet. You know, the only thing does. I guarantee you it's gonna be tier one. And they summon their big horse that was a lord. What? What does this thing do? Oh, it's just like the, uh, they use the, oh, okay. It's like, these are the babies. And then you have, like, the elemental lords, such as, like, why can I not activate spell cards? It's like the game is not letting me activate any spell card, period. And then you have, like, the elemental lords, such as, like, uh, New Glacia and uh, Grand Soil. Oh, that's what these are representative of. Grand Soil, New Glacia. Oh, that's nice. They gave us a, song, a new archetype that's based around the Elemental Lords. That's cool. Of course, I've lost this door. I've already lost this. Element Saber Naito is the water one. The only one I haven't seen was the wind one, which I don't think he played the wind one. He dropped, he dropped the light one again. He can probably win without using the elemental lords. Just using the elemental sabers. He don't even need the big boss monsters. Crazy. So I'm taking a loss here, that's for sure. And I think that's gonna, I think that's gonna do it for the day, guys. Uh, getting kind of tired, and I got work in the morning. So, uh, if you enjoyed this video, smash that like button, subscribe for more Yu-Gi-Oh content. I'll be posting the uh, T Replay Tuesdays this Tuesday. We're getting back on the on track of things. It's the holiday season, so. Kind of off track, but now I'm back. I'm going for a cold. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And as always, I am Johnny Akusa. Signing out. Peace.